Hi, this is David Gawley and we're going to take a look at Revit 2013 and one of the topics I want to have a look at is project phasing. Project phasing sh through distinct stages in the life cycle of a project where there's something to be de demolished or newly created. So in here I'm going to create some simple architectural layouts. So I'm going to say that this is the existing building and there are two annexes to be added on. So let's just trim up those walls and let's just join them up. We'll add in some internal walls because we're actually going to demolish these later on. So we'll change this out the block like so. So that's my model representation in there. A couple of walls I need to flip. It's very easily done in plan. Select the wall, flip. Same for any other walls. Very easy to do in Revit. So that's the quick sketch of my building. But I know that this is existing construction. So how do we label this in Revit? Well, if we have a look at our manage tab in here we'll actually see phases and basically what I want to do is annotate an existing phase and um, a phase one and a phase two so I'm going to call this phase one I'm going to add in a phase after it and we're going to call it phase two we're going to put uh, a description in here to make it nice and easy I'll just copy that and paste it down and change that to two and then here we'll call this existing build. And it's dependent on your views. So in level zero, I'm going to simply rename this and I'm going to call this level zero existing. I'm going to rename any current views. If I select up the existing building, how does the actual block work or construction know that belongs to existing? Well, this is simply done in the properties. So in the phase created in here, we label this the properties existing. And as you see, it will change. What I'm going to do with this annex of the building, I'm simply going to select it. I'm going to change that to phase one. On this part, I'm going to select it and I'm going to simply change it to phase two. And you'll notice that it disappears. This is because it's actually controlled by the view properties. The view properties in here have a phase um, information to show phase one, phase two are existing. So I'm not when you select the actual cavity wall itself, you'll have the individual properties of where it belongs, but in the actual view itself, what the view is actually looking at. So I'm going to change this down to existing. And again, you'll see phase one and phase two pop out. So how do you show any other phases? Well, you simply duplicate the view. I'm going to go to duplicate. We're going to rename this. And we're going to call this level zero phase one. And then level zero phase one, I'm going to call the properties off it phase one. So the existing build becomes grayed out and phase one pops in. If we duplicate this yet again, and again, if we rename it, and we'll call it phase two. And again, on the view properties, we're going to pop this out to phase two. Phase one comes in because it was constructed before phase two. And you can see that on the actual faces itself. Some users find this quite daunting process, but it's simply controlled by the properties um, of the actual elements you're looking at, i.e. the cavity wall or the roof, and it's controlled by the view. So if we looked at the views, I have existing, I have phase one, and I have phase two. And phase two shows an existing in phase one because it's before. What happens if I have something to demolish? Well, we can simply select the object up and hit the hammer. And the demolish symbol will actually annotate it differently so you can see it's hatched. So if we take that into phase one, 
the actual walls disappear on the same for phase two. So it's a very powerful way to actually control your views. And again, this can be done with 3D views as well. We can simply pop out the 3D view, we can duplicate it, and we can look at the 3D view in here and say, we'll just show existing. And again, you'll see our demolition in here. Well, we can say, show phase one, and then finally show phase two. We can override this as well um, in the phase filter. So we can just say show all or show complete, etc. in there, it's another method of control. So simply, when you're using phases, all you need to do is assign the properties to the actual elements of the geometry and then create the appropriate view for it. Thanks for listening.